I'm getting ready to do an experiment um, with uh, whipping water. <laughs> uh, somebody uh, asked, uh, emailed me and asked me if I would check into the Nikin, or ne I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but um, Nikon or Nikin uh, water, and she said it was an ionizer. But when I looked it up, it looked something different than an ionizer. It looked like it was whipping up the water, mixing it with the air. Uh, which I thought, you know, that doesn't, that sounds like the opposite of what an ionizer does. An ionizer is going to add hydrogen uh, to, uh, you know, anti oxidize, not oxidize. It, you know, the. The theory of of uh, negative ORP is you're anti-oxidizing because uh, the problem with free radicals is oxidation, which is the uh, you know uh, active oxygen that uh, you know can damage your cells. Anyway, I'm just getting my uh, ORP meter ready, and I, I just wanted to kind of show you that because I. You're supposed to store these ORP meters if you get one. A lot of people are asking me about these ORP meters. These, this is the HANA Combo pH and ORP meter. And you really need to get an acid solution, like a, this is a apple cider vinegar, but you can use like Coca-Cola or if, if your water ionizer gets like below a 3.0 on your acid water, that would be good too. Uh, but you should really store it in that, and then when you're getting ready to test, just store it in an alkaline water, just to kind of get it ready, and then uh, then you'll be ready to test and get the best, uh, most accurate reading. If you don't store it in the acid solution, from what I understand, over time it will um, like build up. Uh, calcium and whatnot and uh, lose its ability to accurately uh, do the o ORP readings. All right, well, I'm getting ready to pour this, and um, I don't want too fast or too slow of a water flow. I've got it on level three. This is my Melody water ionizer. All right, so I'm going to pour some water in this cup here, and um, I'm going to test it for pH and ORP. Then I'm going to whip the water up to mix air in with the water. And I'll see if that actually uh, changes the pH and ORP. And I'm just curious as to um, what will happen. <laughs> I just honestly do not know. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to test my pH to start with and with these um, pH ORP meters really they uh, are you know a little on the slow side I mean you, you, you don't just dip it in the water and get an instant reading so um, let's just uh, <laughs> wait a few more seconds it looks like it's finally, you know, once it slows down and stops changing so much, that's where you, you know, should really say you're the, you're close to the right reading. And I don't know if, you know, I mean, I wouldn't want to wait long enough to have it absolutely stop changing because that just takes too long. It's ridiculous. But it looks like this is a 10.8 pH. It says 10.79 now, but I'll bet it'll go up to 10.8. There it is, 10.8 pH. And let's see what the uh, ORP is. And it looks like this is a negative 194 ORP. All right, so I'm going to now uh, take this mixer and let me see I don't usually use this 
just whirling this water around. Now that's that's what the neat thing does. It whirls it around, and I'm thinking, ooh, my goodness. Uh, I'm thinking it adds oxygen to the water, which will change the OR. Okay, well, you know, if it's going to change it, I, I guess we'll see it. All right, so I doubt it'll change the pH, but I'm going to guess it's going to change the OLP. And right away, oh my goodness, it sure did. So um, it looks like it's, let me see what, let's let it settle down for, for a bit. So, uh, so I'm going to have to say, unless somebody out there can explain to me how the Nikon ionizes, I'm going to have to say it uh, definitely does not. Uh, I mean, at least <laughs> I'm guessing it doesn't. It it took it 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 uh, didn't bring it to a positive range, which is good, but. It brought it from like a negative 195 to a negative 87. So you don't want to go in the opposite direction with your ORP. The more negative you can get, the better. So there you go. I thought that's what was going to happen. Let's uh, let's take a look and see if it actually. Uh, oops, wait a minute. I turned it off accidentally. Let's see if it actually changed the pH. No. It's about the same pH. So, there you go.